Hello, it's Jack, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Car Mechanic 2021. Don't ask. Don't ask. I, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea what these are doing here. Alright. Never mind. Never minding. I got loads of dosh. You know why I've got loads of dosh? Because I just emptied out my parking lot. I had so much stuff in there. I got rid of it all. Give me a bit of cash. Because I've just bought this bad boy. What is it? What is it? Looks like a Lambo. Looks like a Lambo. And it's a uh, Morena Bizarrini. That sounds really Italian, doesn't it, eh? <laughs> Are you impressed? Morena Bizarrini. I'm sorry if I offend any Italian people, but that's the best I can do. Uh... Nice looking car. I'm told it, it's uh, it's the facelift of the Dia <coughs> Diablo. Lamborghini Diablo that was launched in, what was it? I don't know, 1999. They did the facelift in 98. So this is what it's all about. Anyway, I just want to do a, a quick rundown of, of, what I, of what I bought here to see if we can make a bit of money. Because a lot of people are put off from what I'm watching in, on YouTube and reading on Reddit by buying expensive cars in the barn. Uh, because they don't think they can make a, a much money on them. So without further ado, I've just paid... Uh, 68, 68, yeah, just read that again, 68,000 credits, and I'm in profit already, 2,070, so this bad boy is going to make a little bit of money, and because it's not a modded vehicle, surely it's going to have a really good engine in it, oh, look at that, what engine actually is it in here, I've no, not got a clue, V12, dual overhead cam, MRN, Developing 456 wonderful horses. So, uh, 68,000. Yeah, it, it wasn't a bad uh, a bad buy because then I'm in profit already. And if you take a look at the the end plates, I mean, you know, there's uh, there's not. Well, okay, there's a lot of the running gear I need to check out and all the rest of it. Uh, but I'm going to run a few a few checks on it to see exactly what I bought and uh, if we can flip it for a quick profit. You know, make it looking looking half decent. As long as I can get it running, right, and it and it's safe, that's going to be the only criteria we're going to use, okay? Got to get it running and it's got to be safe, i.e. the brakes have got to be... Let, let's give the brakes... The, the brakes have got to be spot on. Yeah, it's a fast car, right? apparently so brakes have got to be 100 percent running gear has got to be you know in good fettle as well so i'm going to do a few checks on it give it give it a quick wash actually whilst you're here right i'll give it a quick wash right now uh, and i'm sure most of you i mean i would say 99.99 percent of you know this already when you give the car a wash right it's free and you get a little bit of, uh, of money back so we're looking at right now uh, i'm in profit 2070 if I give it a bit of a wash, don't think does the wash actually increase. I think it's the interior detailing that uh, is the bit that uh, where you get the money from. Oh, look at that! Isn't that a lovely colour? Uh, 2070. So nothing there, but at least it's nice and shiny. And oh, sorry, nice and clean. I think I tripped over something there. Then uh, this is the bit where you add a little bit of cash to it. Again, free of charge. Didn't used to be in 2018, did it? For those of you you know that like 2021 and never played 2018, you should go, you should get 2018 as well. It's amazing. Anyway, 2,561. So not a great deal of cash. Okay, not a great deal of cash. But this is all quick wins. Uh, if we take a quick look at the uh, old, uh, the uh, the frame is 68%. So frame's not not uh, not too bad. Uh, but if we just uh, move it over to the lifter, real quick, give it a bit of a weld. And this is interesting when you're doing the welding. I'm not 100% sure how it actually calculates. Because if I look at this right now, it's at 68%, right? It's going to cost me 2200 to fix it. I think the welding, the price for welding, I think, and somebody proved me wrong in the comments, is based on the value of the car at the end. As in how much you can profit you can make on it. Because when you're welding a shitty little car, you know, there's... Uh, I'll give you a good example. Look, 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 look. Welding, welding, welding. Uh, this one here, uh, this is obviously not going to be worth as much as the uh, the bad boy in there, but it's still going to be worth a bit of cash. Uh, frame on this is probably a lot more shot. Let's have a quick look. You see, frame on this, 24%, so way, way lower. But if we just move this little fella over to the, 
oops, police car that it's going to be at one point and do a quick weld on that one. Thousand, you see? So, I'm actually bang on the money there, aren't I? <clears throat> this was in much poorer state than the other one, but it was cheaper to fix on the weld because they obviously based the welding cost on the price of the car, how, mu uh, the, you know, how much money you can, you can build into it. In saying that, to make it more realistic and lifelike, it could also be that a car like that, when you're doing welds on it, you've got to be extra, extra, extra special to do the welding, like highly trained. And on this car, you can just be, uh, you know, a DIY welder maybe. I don't know. It's just uh, some food for thought. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and find out all the bits that are missing on this and, and how much it's going to cost and see how much profit we can make. But just before I do that, let's have a quick look at the current price now. Four grand. I spent all right, two thousand two hundred, but I was in it for um, yeah, kind of. It, it's kind of you know not really making too much profit. On that considering I spent a bit of money on it already. Anyway, let me let me crack on and find out what else is wrong with it, and then I'll I'll be back shortly. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> yeah, there's there's actually quite a lot of shit missing on this car. Uh, I'm just gonna take a look at the 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 amount I'm spending two seven five eight nine six right. Because what I've just figured out here, although it's in pretty good condition, uh, I've just put a fuel rail in. All right, I'll just show you what I've just, what I've just bought. Fuel rail, ABS module, power steam reservoir, coolant. There, yeah, fine. The muffler, right? Muffler that was 205. That's okay, not too bad. Fuel rail, 550. Right, that ain't cheap. Got a couple of bits and pieces missing on the uh, exhaust system, but I think also and again it's not not too bad uh if you look over here uh there's quite a there's, <laughs> there's not much in the front end is there really uh brakes ecu windshield and then the radiator and the intercooler so i'm gonna have to replace i'm gonna have to, well replace them i can't replace them there's nothing there is there so i'm gonna put all those in i mean it shouldn't it's not gonna be too costly uh, so far, it, it won't start. Obviously, the car. Uh, I did. I just tried that. I just tried running a compression test on it. Uh, it's not. The engine's not complete. I need exhaust and all that good stuff. So, anyway, just to g give you an idea, I paid sixty-eight thousand, as you know. Uh, there's quite a bit of quite a few things missing. So let's uh, let me crack on, put the other bits on, do a compression test, see if I can get it running, and I'll be I'll be back shortly. Mm, welcome back. Guess what? Do you think it starts? Does it bugger? Hmm. Uh, I know why. Now I wouldn't say I bought a lemon because I had 280 odd grand, I think it was when I started this uh, this video. Uh, so I'm in profit, you know. Even though what I've spent on it, I'm, my bank balance is still going to increase by, you know, 10 grand. Because 7 plus that 2 there is 9. That takes 2, 8, it's about nine, 8, nine, 8, 9 grand. That's what I'm going to stand in terms of profit on this right now. But the reason it's not starting, my friends, is quite simple. <clears throat> not, not so much but a lemon, more of a tangerine. So... I've done a lot of the old gubbins on it, and everything was looking actually pretty good. You know, I've replaced a lot of the bits, as you can see. You know, I was thinking, oh, spark plugs were coming up at 55%, pistons, oh, 52% for the pistons with the comrods. You know, I thought, oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. 50, oh, 48, 48, we can live with that, we can live with that, we can live with all of this. You know, it's all, it's okay, you know, 40%. Yeah, I thought, okay, not bad. Oh, we're getting a bit a bit low here. 22, 21, 21. Oh, I'm thinking, okay, but pistons are still good. That means I don't have to take the engine apart. I said, I thought I'd take the engine apart. Piston rings, 14, 14. Piston with Conrad, 12, 12. Pit, 10, oh, push, f, 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 never gonna, never gonna start in a million years, is it? So, the plan was get it started, make it safe in terms of the brakes, right? Not so much the running gear, as long as it stops. Doesn't have to stop in a straight line, just needs to stop. So, I've started this project, so I've got to finish it, haven't I? So, I'm inclined to... I'm just put all the 
bloody fluids in it as well. I'm inclined to drop the engine and fix it on the stand because it's going to be a lot a lot quicker to do it that way and just take out those uh, nasty uh, nasty pistons that are causing all the problems. But then if I'm going down that low, I may as well rebuild it. I don't want to rebuild it. We're not going to do that. I'm going to get the engine out, put it on the stand. I'm going to show you, talk you through a real quick and dirty rebuild of the engine so at least it'll start. That's all we're looking for. Get to start, then I'll do the brakes, and then we're gonna we're gonna sell it and, and see what how much we're we're in this for. All right, so uh, yeah, stick around. I'll be back shortly. Okay, so it's nearly stripped down now, uh, and this is all the good stuff that you know we could not uh, see all of this good stuff down here. Yeah, all these uh, rod caps and stuff. Then they're not picked up on any tests. You've got to uh, literally get down to this nitty gritty of the engine. So any one of these could also have been preventing it from starting. Uh, I mean, these look a bit shot, don't they? Absolutely. And what are we at here on these? At 19%? Uh, oh, not, not too bad, not too bad. So, 31%? Oh, actually, they're not actually that bad down here. So the plan is to, uh, is to replace uh, which pistons are dodgy. And as you will be aware that I'm not able to identify those now visually with the little blue thing on because obviously the uh, the engine's now at the card out of the, the checklist uh, but again I've uh, mentioned that in one of my videos on the engine stand you can go and find that somewhere I can also link it in the description or put it somewhere on this video anyway uh, what I'm going to do is finish off taking, taking all these out uh, finding where the culprits are replacing the, the really bad pistons uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, anything that's kind of, you know, 15% or hovering around 15%, maybe 16, 17%. I'm just going to replace and be done with it. Uh, but I'm trying to do this on the cheap. Uh, I've got a little bit more money in the bank because I sold some of my uh, my broken inventory and stuff. But so I'm going to be a little bit out on the on the on the uh, amount I'm actually going to lose or make on this, but not not, not too crazy. Uh, anyway, I'll crack on with getting all these uh, bad boys out and then. Uh, We'll see. Uh, we'll see where we are in a couple of minutes. Okay, we're back down to the uh, the bare bones now of it. Uh, the the, the uh, engine blocks at forty percent, so that, that's fine. What's a little bit worrying is the. Uh, well, let me just go back to the beginning of all the stuff that's come in on arrival. I'll just show you real quick. It's this uh, the crankshaft was shot, so I, I would have to have taken these pistons out anyway. I mean, it's 16%. I mean, it, it's uh, yeah. I'm not even going to risk putting that back in. So I'll see what I can repair. It's just just on that on that verge, isn't it, of being able to repair it? Uh, and then obviously you can't repair pistons and, and piston rings. And some are looking good, as you can see. Some are some are 39%, 48%. Some are pretty good. Uh, the piston rings, I think, uh, I'm just going to replace for the for the cost of them replace all the piston rings I think just to make sure uh, and then uh, build it back up but as you can see uh, there's a lot of stuff that, that's 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 bad uh, but also there's there's some bits and pieces that are actually not not too uh, not too shabby heads were good 40% uh, 33% so they don't they won't need replacing uh, some of the camshaft caps and there's a lot of these I mean crikey thump have you seen you've seen the engine I mean well the heads are not in now but uh, my goodness, 12 cylinders, I think, is it two spark plugs per cylinder as well? There's a lot of stuff to take off this uh, this engine. But uh, it's an enjoyable build. Yeah, but really nice engine, really nice. Okay, we're back. Engine's rebuilt. Uh, I've repaired a lot of the parts. Uh, some not to 100%, if, if, I could, if I could help it. Uh, so let me just take it off the stand for a sec, and then you'll be able to see uh, when I put it back on. Before I put it back on... You'll be able to see exactly what what it is. There we go, the V12, wonderful engine. So you see, rod caps are still some of them are a bit dodgy still, which is okay. Piston rings are all being replaced as I said I would. Uh, you know, timing sh chain shoes and the water pump and everything else, engine head. You know, so it's not completely repaired, but there's nothing red anymore. Okay, we've got green, yellow, and orange. Okay, as I said before, I bought an orange. Anyway, uh, we don't put it on again because it's uh, off the engine stand now. But before I place it in the car, I've done some work on the running gear, and I'm showcasing this so just in case you know you've got an idea of buying a pretty expensive sports car and and kind of what value you're going to get out of it and the best bits to to repair. Now I did say I did stipulate it's got to start. I still don't know if it's starting or not because I've just rebuilt the engine. I've got to put it back in, put the fluids in, see if it'll start. Hopefully it will. You saw earlier didn't start. 
because the engine was absolutely knackered. Uh, well, what I have done on the underneath is I've repaired most of these parts. Uh, some I haven't bothered with, like the knuckle here I've not bothered with. Uh, the sway bar I've not done. These I've replaced completely because they're so cheap. And you can see I spent a bit of money, you know, 263 now, bearing in mind I started with about 280. And bearing in mind I did spend some money on this police car over here welding it. And just so you know, I've also built. Uh, whenever I build my shock absorbers, I always like to build quite a few of them. So I've also built built the shock absorbers, some more shock absorbers. But it's it, it's it's pennies right now. You know, it's not going to uh, deflate the uh, the profit too much. I've also put a new, couple of new fuses in because they were they were a little bit shot. So it's looking uh, you know back the front end is looking good. Uh, most of this was repairable. Uh, so I've not uh, cheated, if you like, on any way, shape, or form, or in any way, shape, or form. I've made it made it safe. I wasn't going to do the running gear, but some of these shocks were absolutely knackered. I mean, y you can see the shocks here: 34%, 30%, and 20%. I thought, you know what? Let's just change them out. I've also uh, obviously put new tyres on because the other tyres were also not happy at all. Uh, let's show the tyres. Yeah, I mean, these could have gone back on. Arguably, they could have gone back on, but I decided to put new ones on. Uh, repaired most of the rims apart from one. I had to buy a new rim, the 18. Bear in mind, just just some bit, bit of information here on this particular car. A lot of these sports cars uh, have the same thing. Oh, there's the, the, the profit look. I'm minus 2,600 right now because I've taken the wheels off and there's no engine in it, even though I've done a lot of the running gear. But if you look at the... Uh, here, uh, 245, 40... 17 that's the tires on the front and these are on the back and you'll notice it's actually got two different rim sizes rim 17 inch here and 18 inch uh, on the back so there you go mm -hmm. spectacular oh isn't that a great name for a car anyway what we're going to do now is uh put the engine back in and for those of you that have not put an engine in a car before it's pretty straightforward uh, we just take our engine crane here we add the engine to it which will be this one here sitting now at 73 percent so it better bloody well start let's just move this out of the way for a second now obviously we need to uh, put a bit of oil in it uh, I think all the other fluids are actually okay it's just oil so as soon as we've got a bit of oil in then uh, we should be good and you know the magic number for the oil yeah you know this when it dips we count to seven and we should be good so when it dips, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Always like to check the dipstick, colour of the oil, and make sure everything's okay. We're looking absolutely excellent. Okay, so uh, what's left? Well, see if it starts for one. But uh, before that, I want to take it outside, see if it'll start. I don't think I can get into it. Can I? Can't, no, I can't get into it from there. So uh, let me put the wheels on. And then see how it looks, and then see what the value is. Yeah, so uh, be, back, be, 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 be right back. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, not. It doesn't always go to plan, does it? Because uh, obviously, it 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 might need a gearbox. Uh, call me old-fashioned, but uh, generally, it helps the uh, the car move down the road a little bit faster than it, than if it didn't have one. Uh, again, pretty straightforward. I think I've got both of these I might oh no I had to buy a new one because one was missing and this one it's in good enough fettle it's 57% on the exhaust so that that's all good now with it being a rear mounted engine oh and by the way I stand corrected it doesn't have two spark plugs per cylinder that's 50% that's fine it's only got one spark plug per cylinder so it's actually only 12 spark plugs uh, rear wheel drive you need to put in uh, the drive shafts obviously before you can mount the wheels so let's just put that wheel on. Uh, I did, I think one was damaged on the drive shaft and the other one was at 57% as you saw. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to put, uh, I'm just going to put two in, two new ones on. It's not going to hurt the budget too much. But I think I'm kind of sticking to the game plan, aren't I? <coughs> yes, thank you very much. So let's, uh, without further ado, put this in here. Second drive shaft. Tease me a little bit. Then the last wheel, and uh, nothing special, just sport standard sports tyres. Okay, uh, we've got oil in the car. We've still not got a door on the car. 
Uh, let's just uh, move it outside and let's see if this starts. So fingers crossed. You better start. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. So, here's the bad boy. What's it worth? Are you ready? Are you ready? Body 68%. Uh, 81 parts, 81 and 100 on the frame. 119,000. So I'm going to make 50 grand. But not all that is profit, bearing in mind I had 280 pretty much here. Yeah, so that means I've spent, what, 17,000 on this bad boy, maybe 18. So it's still, you know, 30 odd grand profit, but uh, it's been a lot of work, but it's not finished yet. It's not finished yet, so it's 50 grand, but we've got a couple of other bits and pieces to do. I wasn't intending on replacing any of the body, uh, to be fair, because I think the body looked looked actually okay. Let me just have a quick check of that again. Uh, body's at 68%. Well, there's, a, there's obviously a few bits and pieces missing, like a door, window, uh, mirrors on there. But let's uh, let me just fill out the body body bits, uh, get it sprayed, and then I'll be right back, and we can see what's what what the uh, what the butcher's bill is. Okay, we're back in the room. Well, back outside to be fair. And, and just some food for thought. You guys watching this, uh, you know, I, I'm stopping the video. What I've done previously is I used to, you know, do maybe time lapsing. If you want to see time lapsing instead of me stopping the video and then just coming back and it's all done, let me know. I mean, for me, I don't, I don't mind either way. I've got to do it anyway. I just can just turn the mic off and then speed it up. So I mean, it's not not too much of an issue. But just a bit of uh, some food for thought on this on this particular car. I've just purchased right a door, front left door, 800, a window for 330, right? So that's what we're talking 12, 1130, and then a window, no, a mirror, sorry. Uh, a mirror for 150 uh, and there's nothing I don't think missing on the car now now just by adding right bing 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 just by adding that in there you're gonna be amazed look at that 67,000 it's just jumped 17,000 just by putting a door on it crikey thump well you know what the important thing to notice here is the reason why it's jumped so much is because previously we didn't get the condition bonus because the car was not complete okay so there's some food for thought when I did my profit video on that not all profit is real profit I'll link it in the description somewhere somebody actually called out in the comments saying you know what you get more on the condition bonus as well there's a big in, in incentive to make the car complete to get that condition bonus and it was a good call out and that's why I'm calling it out now okay anyway that's all nice and uh, nice and shiny, isn't it? So if we can just uh, come out of that for a second, go into normal mode. Let's just move this to the paint shop. I'm going to actually, I'll, I won't uh, cut this bit. I'll just go to the paint shop and you guys can, can see how we, how we do this. Uh, I don't know if there's any liveries or anything on this. I have no clue whatsoever. Uh, and it has been washed, so that's good. We're not going to be silly and paint all the parts and all that stuff. But uh, let's just have a quick look and see if there's liveries. By the way, you don't get all of this if you don't upgrade the, the shop to to, uh, to the full, you know, the full upgrade of the uh, of the shop. So does it get a livery? Oh, it get it gets two. You get you get the yellow. Oh, spectacular! I, I, I'm not I'm not I'm not that I'm not that impressed with that. To be fair, uh, it looks okay, but the writing's a bit a bit trashy, isn't it? Nah, nah. Let me just have a look at that number three one again. That's two. Stop jumping around. Ah, it's okay, but uh, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of this. This. This crap here. That. That's not that good. It's a nice looking car, though, isn't it? Hmm. Oof, 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 oof. Anyway, what we're we doing? We're painting it. Come on, Jack. Get your. Get your. Get your stuff together. Factory color is. Uh, I think I'm just going to stick it with factory. Uh, I think we'll go with gloss. I think gloss is good. Solid is also nice. Metallic. Oh, meta oh actually, you know what? Metallic's good. Uh, but let's get rid of that stupid livery first. Let's just go back down to zero livery. Uh, we don't. We don't want the livery. Uh, let's go back here. I think we're good on the colour. We've got the gloss. I actually like that. That looks pretty snazzy. Let, let's get that painted. I know it's uh, it's a thousand credits, but uh, money well spent, I believe. 
Okay, so, uh, beautiful, eh? Beautiful. Alright, last thing I think we need to do, well, first of all, not last thing, it doesn't make any difference, to be fair, uh, to, the, to the price of the vehicle, but what I would like to do is just make sure this thing's going to drive in a straight line. Uh, so it's always good just to, uh, to align the old wheels, and these are absolutely a, a mile out, aren't they? So let's just, uh, let's just get these aligned. Takes no time at all. Uh-huh. There we go, and then the last one here. No, 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 come on. I know it's late, but come on. Oh, oh, right, done. And uh, I'm not gonna bother with the headlights. Can't be bothered with that. Okay, then uh, that's done. Let's, uh... oh, look at you, look at you. What a lovely car, lovely. Let's, uh... I wanna see how many horses it's lost. It's funny how we use that term, isn't it? How many horses is it lost? Uh, this gets a bit loud, but uh, bear with me, bear with me. That logo, is it supposed to be a, a bull or a cow or, or what? Looks like a McDonald's to be fair. Yes, yes, yes. So what have we got? What have we got? Oh bloody hell! Jeepers creepers! It's lost nearly sixty percent. I mean, just think how much, just think how much we would be making in profit if we'd have, you know, reconditioned the entire engine. So there's, oh, what's he doing? So there's some food for thought right there. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's quite spectacular. That I must admit. Uh, we, what, 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 what are you on about, wheels and, what did it, what did I try and do then? Oh, the wheels are missing on the other car, okay, because <laughs> I was just trying to swap it with that one, and that's got no wheels on it, so you can't put that in the uh, test path. Okay, so here we go, uh, I think it's actually been an, a nice build. Uh, it's certainly made me a decent amount of profit. 68,000 now that I've sprayed it. Uh, condition bonus is around about the same. So, you know, uh, 261, you know, 20 grand spent on it round about. So, you know, what's that? Round about 50 grand-ish, uh, 40 odd, 48, whatever. Not going to do the maths right now. Uh, have a quick sit in here. Nice and lovely. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so there we are. That is our wonderful wonderful beastie Moriana Bizarini all done and dusted hope you enjoyed that video uh, I'm not going to sell it right now I need to take a couple of pictures of it obviously for posting and all that good stuff on Facebook and Reddit and wherever else it is uh, so yeah thanks for watching I really really appreciate you stopping by uh, like I said I've got a quite a few new projects in the pipeline uh, on my other account where I've got some I found some pretty amazing cars and I've got some really nice ideas it's not just you know rebuilding cars and all the rest of it I've got a couple of challenges uh, out there as well which I'll be posting in the next day or two so thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it if you like this kind of stuff drop me a comment drop me a sub thank you so much and Jack is out <laughs>